What's up guys, how's it going? Andy here. I uh, just thought I would keep you posted about what's going on here in my garage. I've been um, sort of remodeling it in here. This was just a garage. I kept a load of junk and some bikes and various different other things and I have decided a few months ago that um, it's going to be much more useful for a, a book processing room for used books because they're very heavy and I don't want to move them too much around because it, it just takes time and yeah, they're, they're heavy so rather than taking them to my office or taking them down to my warehouse uh, when I've done a book sourcing trip I want to take them here I can um, back my car right up here to the garage and ultimately there will be a worktop along this left side um, running the whole length of the garage uh, where I can process the books from uh, and then I've got storage shelves here and here I'm not sure about this one um, it's quite big and it cuts into the the width of the garage quite a bit there so I may move that one out and uh, put that in my warehouse I've got another one up here this is going to go in the warehouse another rack but they're really solid these will do 250 kilos per shelf so you know they're really solid racks I picked them up uh, on a advert on Gumtree three of them and this will stay here because it fits nicely at the bottom there uh, those boxes will be going soon anyway that's something else and I've got some lighting for my warehouse there that I picked up cheap these are just those sort of strip lights there's one two three four in each and uh, all the reflectors and everything they're self-contained light units and I've got a load of them I've got like 12 of them and I paid 20 quid for them from a guy that was uh, refitting a shop in my local town so they'll be going into my warehouse for extra lighting but yeah in here I've cleared everything out um, painted the, the ceiling to reflect a bit of light and I've got another light up here and I'll put down this uh, matting which is like a, a really solid rubber matting and they actually uh, use it as underlay for astroturf pitches I don't know what you call it in the US but it's you know artificial grass pitches that uh, people play football on or soccer and that this is the cushioning that they use before they put the thing on top so this is actually really economical it didn't cost me very much about 150 quid to do the whole thing and they just come in you can tell them what lengths you need uh, stick it down uh, it's really good cushioning because it's a concrete floor so it's a nice bit of insulation um, stops your feet aching whilst you're in here and um, yeah it looks a bit neater as well so that's what we're up to so far got a little bit more work to do I uh, got the work surface coming next week which I'll put along along here and I'll probably find a, a slimmer shelf here because I don't need, I don't need masses of storage in here um, I've got storage uh, but I'll, I'll probably put a, a slimmer shelf along here and then so I've got I'll have shelving this side all the shelving here which is plenty and then the processing will be on this side I can get the Wi-Fi from my house in here um, so that's not a problem I can put a laptop in here and so this will be a dedicate, dedicated book processing room it should be nice and warm and if I need extra light I can put some of these lights in here as well but that's uh, that's what I'm doing so that way um, I, as soon as I get back from book source and it can go in here once and it'll stay in here until UPS come and pick it up uh, whenever I order a UPS pickup I can assemble pallets in here and everything else like that so just a little bit more streamlined for the books because obviously efficiency is really important when it comes to book processing and book selling uh, it's all about the numbers and the volume with with used books so yeah just a little bit of a more of a refinement um, I'll show you what's going on with the additional storage in the next couple of weeks that's still to be uh, still to be sorted out but uh, yeah the next couple of months I've been really sort of taking a step back and looking at the whole setup of my business because a lot of uh, you will relate to the fact that business can quite often evolve and sometimes it's good to take a step back and look exactly how you've ended up and if you do need to uh, restructure it's a good idea to look and see exactly how you're doing things because sometimes it's happened as a as you've organically grown into a situation rather than when you've actually looked and expected to do a certain volume but you know I've been selling on Amazon for many years and um, 
things have changed as I've gone along. I do a lot more volume than I used to. And you know, my, my office in town, I don't know if any one of you who see my other videos from my office, but that's on the top of the third story building, which is uh, a great office. Uh, it's beautiful views, but in terms of practicality now, um, my storerooms, uh, the, the stock is getting up to the ceilings and I just need a, uh, a bigger setup. So I've got a warehouse sorted. Um, I'll probably be giving up the office, I think, uh, in return for this area and the warehouse, I think. But we'll see how it goes and we'll see how practical it is to use. But ultimately, um, if the storage has gone from the office and I'm using storage somewhere else, then ultimately it is then just somewhere for me to work. And I don't necessarily need the whole of a top four uh, Georgian building in the center of town just for somewhere to work out of. That was more storage and office. And if it's just office, it's less necessary. So I'll keep you posted on how we get on with that and uh, how this looks like once we get the worktop in and, and get a slightly similar shelf. This should be a fairly useful area and hopefully it will be up and running um you know in the next couple of weeks once we get the the worktop sorted but yeah i'm quite pleased with this space ultimately is at a premium these days and if you can make it work for you and earn your money then that's all uh, that's all good because I, I don't know if uh, you're anything like me that if you have space you end up just putting junk in it and it's not until you have to move it you realize how much unnecessary stuff you've got hanging around so I suppose it's a good thing to do every now and again anyway but there we are just thought I'd let you know what I'm up to at the moment and uh, how it's looking and uh, I'll keep you posted on how I'm getting on cheers guys bye for now